Good morning investors and traders, this is Naeem Aslam and in this video I'll be sharing a big news about Ethereum which I think you guys should definitely know. This is the biggest news for Ethereum in 2021. So let's begin. Before we do anything else, as always, it is important for us to go through this disclaimer which is right in front of you. A bit about myself folks, I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. And during this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon and as an equity trader with Bank of America, currently providing services as a chief market analyst to have a trade. So what is that big news? First of all, have a look at the chart, which is right in front of you. And this must, this chart must bring happiness if you are looking, if you are especially long on, 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 the, on this particular asset, because this is the monthly chart for ethereum and then see this super super rally the bull run that we have seen uh in in terms of ethereum's prices because by looking at this chart we have one two three four five six seven eight consecutive months of rally when it comes to ethereum and yesterday for the first time in its history, Ethereum's price crossed above the 4,000 price level, meaning Ethereum added three zeros after four. And then this is something, folks, that we have talked about in our previous analysis. If you wanted to have a look at it, the video is just right over here up there. Click on the link and then you will see where we have talked about the possibility of Ethereum's prices reaching this price level. And it is not only that, folks, because now many speculators in the market, they believe that the prices are going to continue to move even further from here and again some of these price predictions we have made in the previous ones but of course we'll talk about all of that later in the stage uh, a little later in in this video so as you can see from this particular chart that the ethereum's price has crossed above the 4000 and then that was the biggest biggest news for ethereum so far in 2021 but the main question is not that the main Thing which when it comes to ethereum's price action is not about this it is about where the prices are going to continue how far this particular price can really can, can move from here where are those important pivot levels meaning those buy and but or, or a potential selling that can also happen where are those ones that is what we're going to analyze now so for the in order to do that we have to go into our daily time frame and from the daily time frame what we have to focus on before we begin that is the three important moving averages why are they so important because this is where institutions pay most of the attention to when it comes to price action and i'll explain a lot more detail in a lot more detail after this particular time frame that why they are so important to begin with in pink you have your 50 day simple moving average followed by that you have your 100 day simple moving average and finally your 200 day simple moving average the concept behind that is as long as the price continues to stay above these important moving averages we have a massive bull run the bull run can really continue the bulls are in control of the price and as you can see since may to march 2021 when it briefly broke below the 50 day simple moving average the bulls have been very much in control but now the price is there is no doubt no shadow of a doubt that the price is due for a massive correction for a healthy correction why because the distance between the price where the price is trading and it is trading at 4100 and the moving average is very very important and when this distance becomes this large it means the price is going to retrace back towards its mean meaning it can very much come towards its 50 day simple moving average i am not saying that the price is going to drop to 2500 but at the same time i think there are possibilities 
that whenever that retracement will happen, the prices can certainly come into this area of support between 3100 to 3300. That is the area of the first area of support. Now, going back to the importance of the moving averages, but before we do that, I want you guys to pay attention to why this particular price action can really sort of reverse back towards its mean or especially into this one if not somewhere here again come price coming back into this area is very very unlikely but price coming into this area is highly likely whenever that risk will happen the reason that i'm saying this is because look at the rsi where it is trading it is trading well above that critical level of 70 which is considered as overbought then remember the last time that the price was over here we did see retracement in in uh, rsi we did see retracement in prices but not too much but just a small tiny bit when the rsi dropped from here to here we did see slight bit of a, of a retracement over here but if we compare that to here the price actually moved from here to here as you can see while the rsi was here to here so we had the negative divergence but this negative divergence failed to push the prices lower because the prices continue to move to the upside while the rsi from here to here continued to move to the downside and then we saw a retracement after this massive uh, divergence considering if the, let me just actually draw that one so if we consider the price from here to here rsi to here to here and the price to here to here we saw this retracement into the price which resulted in the rsi moving down towards this particular area and then our, we, we saw this massive rally sort of a massive rally really coming in now let's get back to the more important point and that is where are those important pivot levels now if you remember from our previous video i mentioned about this one that the price was trading below this particular critical level of 50 day simple moving average and we talked about that the price quickly needs to move back above the 50 day simple moving average because that will give us an assurance that the prices are bulls are still in control of the price and that is what happened look about that distance that we discussed about the moving average when the price was over here when the moving average was here and then the price was here when the moving average was here and the price was here look what happened the price did reverse back towards this mean and it crossed below that 50 day simple moving average and these this is why these moving averages are very very important now once again the price has created it has moved quite significantly from its 50 day simple moving average and then the possibilities are that the price may return towards its 50 day simple moving average but that is only going to happen perhaps when the price will reach 45 or 5000 so in terms of this particular bitcoin uh, sorry ethereum's price action the minimum target when it comes to ethereum really is 5000 it is really the 5000 is the first resistance area and that is the, the sorry let me just put that so 5000 is the first and then after that the next resistance area is 10k so these are the two important price levels that everyone is very much focused on however the first sort of a pullback is more likely to happen when the price is more going to touch is going to get close to 5000 price level this is is very much in the news in the ethereum's price prediction price models so once again if we are looking at the prices we have to also pay attention to the four hour time frame and when it comes to four hour time frame the four hour time frame tells us that if the price is really going to move and it, if the price is going to see a retracement that possible retracement could be between 3300 to 3400 price level of course on the daily time frame we did discuss about the 31 to 33 but that is the support on the four on the daily time frame but the more aggressive support 
So basically, we have a two different support levels. We have the support level between 31 to 33, which is a major support level. But the, the aggressive or the more prominent support level is between 33 to 34 on the price level, as this could be the area where we could see, you know, uh, the, the price retracing. But but there is another important and more aggressive support level and that aggressive support level remains where the 50 day simple moving average is trading in on the 30 minute time frame or even if if, if that is slightly bit more risky then what you could potentially look at is this where the 50 day simple moving average is trading and that is between 37 to 38. So we have a support level area number one. Let me mark them on the chart so that you know what we're really talking about. So we have our support area number one, which is from here, 31 to 33. So this is your support area number one. Uh, let me just type them over here. So this is your support level number one and then you have your support level number two and then you have your support level number three and again remember that in terms of our price levels, uh, in terms of a resistance, we are looking at 5,000. And after 5,000, it is more going to be talk about 10,000 price level. That's all for today. And I'll see you guys same place uh, next time. Thank you.